this video, we'll learn about the basic template settings for the Events Calendar and Events Calendar Pro plugins. Template-related settings can be found in Events, Settings, in the Display tab. The first setting here allows choosing the styles of the calendar and events. The default is to use the full styles that come with the plugin. However, you can also select skeleton styles if you'd like to inherit more styles from your theme or custom style sheets. Next, we can choose which WordPress templates to use for the calendar and event pages. The events calendar includes a default template, but you can also choose other templates for a more consistent look across your site. Any templates made available by your theme can be selected here in the dropdown. The next setting in this section controls which views will be available in the calendar on the front end of your site. To disable a particular view, just uncheck the option here. Below that, we can set the default view for the calendar. This controls which view will display when the calendar page first loads. If using Events Calendar Pro, you can also configure a different default view for those visiting the site on a mobile device. Out of the box, the calendar will display a search bar at the top. This can be disabled by checking the Disable the Search Bar option here. When using Events Calendar Pro in the Classic Editor to create your events, by default, a Related Events section will show at the bottom of the event page. This can be disabled by checking the Hide Related Events option. For Week View, we can choose to show only weekdays in the calendar by selecting the Hide Weekends on Week View option. Next, we can choose how many events will display on a given day in the calendar when in the Month View. By default, a max of three events per day will show, but this can be increased or decreased as needed by changing this setting. To remove the limit completely, you can enter negative one. However, this may not look that great and can cause performance issues on sites with many events, so use discretion when choosing this option. Finally, we have the Enable Month View Cache setting. This can help with performance on your website when loading the calendar pages. That was an overview of the basic template settings for the Events Calendar and Events Calendar Pro plugins. Thanks for watching.